Now for this journal entry, uh, since the printing system is pretty much complete, I will be completing or at least putting a lid on the, um, the printing control room. So there's a bit of work to do here. I am uh, unsure whether or not I'm going to need more more panels for for this more control panels probably so uh, still there is sufficient room to go around uh, however what I do want to have here is uh, a control seat so l let's get a control station going here and I would like what do I need? I need interior plates to to place these things. I should have a couple here inside of Lump. Uh, lump, are you my friend here? Okay, I just need one. One, thank you. And I don't need computers. I don't need the uranium either. There you go. Uh, let's choose a, a place here I think the control station I don't want it to block the view of the printing process uh, still I am going to place it here yeah here's just fine then I can I can control whatever I, I want from these control panels from these button panels here watch the ship get, get printed and if I need to to do anything else uh, or access any, any other of the ship's systems and whatnot I can use the control station and I still have plenty of room to go around uh, so actually before I start building this up I think this is gonna need mm, compu 100 computers I'm glad I got that silicon now before I I start building this up I think I want to decide on the glass for the for this thing the protection uh, can I get uh, how wide is this thing so this should be yeah it's five so I can get a three wide in the middle and a couple of one wides in the sides so where are the glass uh, window two by three let's get rid of these a two by three no I want a three by three all right and now a one by two I believe one by two uh, what blueprint do I need okay I think this is what I want now I am not what do I need for this girders uh, girders I think I have them on the printing um, these printing holds here yeah I do uh, let's get like 10 of these they're not too heavy and if I can get this thing operational right now I can start thinking about designing the access points for for this and uh, actually building the ship up uh, from the inside uh, okay let's grab one of these and go hmm I want it to be placed hold on hold on if I place it like this uh, where where is it pointing at I, I need to, to set the blueprint problem is I have to rely on my suit to tell me exactly where I should place the components uh, so it's not always incredibly visible what exactly my suit is telling me to do if I place it here this ought to work so that's two and I should be able to place one on top of that let's get on this side here that's two more and this should be good enough should be good enough let's place a couple more uh, right here okay and now just switch to this one and 
rotate it around. I am aiming at the wrong spot. So, that's a three. Mm, can I get a three by a three by one? Only a two by three. Okay, lo let's get a a few one by ones here and place them just like this. And this will be the the viewing area. I'm I have to get rid of of this bit of wall here. Uh, actually, I have to make sure that I didn't weld up this window with that wall. Uh, but this will essentially be it. Now, as for the top, oh right, these are already sloped. Hopefully, that's not a problem. Hmm, I'm gonna have to to grab a few, some more sloped walls here, and go at it from here. So this should work fine too. And if I can just figure out where I'm going with this, I'm just gonna plop down these uh, these wireframes right here. But before I weld them up, I will be placing... Ugh, am I out of steel plates already? Hmm, actually I don't want this like that. I want to grab one of... Uh, is it these? It's not these. Oh crap, that's not gonna work. No, no. It has to be one of these. Okay, let's uh... Let's replace this. And I still have to figure out how I'm going to do things here in order to allow me access to both these gravity generators to in in case i i need to directly access them i don't want at, at least i don't want too many components in the ship to to not be readily accessible physically accessible that, that is um in a timely fashion, because if I have to hop on my spacesuit, put on a helmet, and uh, be careful about pressurization in order to access a component in an emergency, that's really not a good plan. Uh, so I would really rather avoid it. Uh, but that means I have to be really careful when I'm designing the interior of the ship. Uh, so this pillar here isn't going to work. Although I think I can easily get around that. I just need to be careful with both these components. Hopefully this mass block isn't getting damaged against this wall. It doesn't look like it. It does not look like it. So that landing gear seems to be doing its, its job. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, one thing I did want to do is to put some warning lights inside here. So let's search for for lights. And for me to better get an understanding of what's going on, I want a... what? How do I want to color this? I want to go... Uh, Probably green for when the system is uh, is not printing, and red for when it is printing. I want a clear visual indication of when I'm activating what. I'm gonna need construction components for for that. So these little details before I close, I put a lid on that control room. I want to get these little details sorted out so that I can use lumps lump to what the hell. Are you full, Lump? Oh crap, Lump's full. Uh, okay, I don't need any more girders. Oh right, I didn't take these from Lump, did I? Uh, okay, just give me a couple of construction components then. And let's place a couple of warning lights. Hopefully I won't need this space for anything else. But I'm still gonna go... Hmm... How do I want to do this? One on either side. Hopefully it's enough. 
I don't think it will be. But I can have regular uh, uncolored lights all the way uh, in the bottom here. And then tell them to shut off and turn on the green lights for when the printer is running. Yeah, yeah, that's what, what I'm gonna do. Not necessarily like that, but if I get some regular... No. Some regular lights here, just for lighting purposes. Just like that. Uh, no, I need to rotate that. These will serve for lighting purposes. Oh god, why is my suit giving me all the wrong instructions? And afterwards, I can figure out... So, regular lighting and then uh, printing lighting. Yeah, I think that's gonna be that's gonna be it. Uh, hmm. I think I'd better grab all the components I, I need. Bring lump weld this uh, this thing up. But before I do that, I'm gonna assign a group to to these. So let's grab the lights here. Interior light. All of these are incomplete. They are 12. Actually, let me confirm that. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have incomplete interior lights. Some... where? Where do I have incomplete interior lights? Oh! Okay, that's... Ugh! Well, apparently I didn't actually count the lights, so yeah. Let's give it a group. Um, printer... Printer lighting. Standard. Save. Okay. And uh, I'll hide it afterwards. Okay. I need to grab all the components and... Put Lump to work. Okay, I think this is starting to look like a, a proper control room. Uh, now, I need a win, a win, a way in. I also do need a win uh, to change things around here. So, a proper way in would include a door, go figure. And now, if I place it here if i line it up uh, line it up with these walls no that's impossible so it's going to have to come up to here and if that's the case if it comes up to here then i'm going to need to walk over this now this leaves me with a couple of options if i do it i'm going to need a way to access these gravity generators from down here Oh no, they don't have a control panel here. They only have one right now at their top. So having a door on this standard armor block is mm, is not very feasible. I can, however, have two doors for symmetry's sake. Uh, let's go... I can have... One here, no, but I, I would still need, the, th the problem is, I need these walls to come up to here. 
And if that's the case... If that's the case... I am left with a narrow corridor here. I can have this as a... One way... Yeah, that's it. Uh, I can have... I can have a way from the uh, the bridge over there. I can bifurcate the way there and have one way coming down through this side to access the printing room and have a little mm, a little access area here to mess around with with these gravity generators if I so desire. And the other way can go. Uh, through this area here, past the printer, and into the hangar bays themselves. I can have some catwalks up there, too. Yeah, that might be the, the best option, actually. <clears throat> that might just be the best option. I'm also eventually going to need to feed this... Uh, this generator here, but uh, I'll worry about that later. That's not gonna be too much of an issue, but first I have to have all this area conveyed up. So do I want, uh, do I need interior plates or interior, interior blocks here? I don't think I do. I can have this all just like this. And this will be a wall, and I will go in from here. I can have the door right here, the access door. And then possibly, hmm, possibly a stair. Maybe some stairs will, would do the trick. Although, I'm not sure if I can get one to be steep enough, but yeah. Yeah, some stairs to here, and I can walk around underneath here. Okay, okay, that'll work. And I'll get rid of this pillar here, or this uh, these first couple of standard armor blocks. I'll get rid of them and uh, secure the, um, the landing gear some other way. That won't be too hard. But I can have the door right there. That can be a thing. Yeah. Yeah, that can be a thing. Uh, now all I have to do is uh, complete the, the welding process. Okay, now this is starting to look like a functioning control room. I'm going to need... I'm gonna need to... Um, uh, to pressurize this, but there's more than enough room to fit in uh, one or two... one or two vents here. So now, I want to... Uh, I want to put in the lights that will that will show when the printer's running. So I'm going to go... Hmm... Maybe... Are two enough? Maybe I'll go just... One more? No, I can go... Th with two here. And not like that. <coughs> like... This. Okay, th this one's wrong though. Yeah, uh, I'm. I can place these here right now. 
and uh, le let's uh, let's rename them first. Actually, let's just sit and and recharge my suit. So light. <clears throat> These four uh, will be block group. Uh, hmm. Lights, printer, control room. Printer on and save. All right, that's all well and good. So let's hop out of here. And I forgot exactly what these things need. It's just a construction component. Okay, good enough. Uh, now I have to synchronize this with the the printing mechanism itself and we'll, I'll be good to go and end this journal entry so I should I think yeah I still have enough stuff on me so that's all well and good now as for these lights let's look for lights printer lighting standard uh, printer con Lighting standard printer control room printer off. Let's save that. Okay, with the printer off, I want the lights to have a green glow, and I should actually get out of here. And ooh, that that's kind of cool, actually. And it's a clear visual indication. Is this too much green? This might be too much. Well, actually, no. No, I kind of like it. Yeah, okay. Uh, now, for the red ones. Or the uh, printer on. Uh, come on. Can I reach you? Yes, I can. Lights. Printer, control room, printer on. I want you guys to be red, to have a very wide radius, and let's turn you off. Okay, now, as soon as I hit... Actually, I can do this fairly easily, because there's a timer block that starts the printer. Printer start... Timer block start printer. I'm glad I named it correctly. Uh, let's set up actions and let's search for light. Actually, let's search for groups light. Printer lighting. Uh, that's actually not there anymore. Printer on. When Once I start printing, I want this to turn the these lights off and uh, actually, no, these ones will turn on and the lighting standard will turn off. Okay. Uh, now, as for... As for the opposite, maybe I can get one of these sensors to do it? Oh, this only has one sensor. I wonder if it's connected to a timer block or not. It is! It is! Okay. Uh, timer block, collect printed ship 2. Why is there a 2 there? I wonder. Timer block, collect printed ship 2. Timer, collect. 1 is for the piston, 2 gear lock and and reverse three primary rotors and spin ship okay now I understand what that two is but if I set up actions go to groups and select lights I can tell this to turn on the lights for the control room the standard lights the green ones toggle block on and oh god I am Always no toggle these off because the printer will not be on and the standard lighting turn on and that is 
the way this is going to work. Okay, as soon as I print something else, I'll be able to see this in action, uh, to watch everything from the comfort of a pressurized, comfortable room. So that is going to be it for this journal entry. Hey everybody, sorry for the late video, it's been one hell of a week. As you know, I've had this community service thing. It started this way week, it's been going great, the people there have treated me really nicely. Thank you very much to those of you who supported me in this uh, awkward and uh, uh, really shitty time right now. Uh, thank you very much, it hasn't gone unnoticed. And um, <clears throat> ju just to say, I'm, I am putting a video out here, there isn't too much going on. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to play and honestly I don't feel the brain power either. So uh, I play a bit of City Skylines, a bit of, um, of XCOM just to keep my mind occupied with other stuff and so that I don't have to think about too much stuff. Uh, so I hope you like w what I'm doing. Uh, if you feel like, uh, dude, uh, either give us real big progress or don't bother doing videos, um, do let me know and I'll take that into account. Maybe I'll, I'll uh, do a one or two week hiatus here while I collect myself. But I digest. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please remember, follow me on Twitter, leave a like, leave a dislike, leave a comment, tell me what you think of the show, and until next time, as always, I have been the Neural, and I hope you have an awesome day.